Okay, our goal of this video is to calculate the speed that a motor will go when it's driving a fan. So to start off, here is the torque speed relationship of the fan. And then we're going to have our motor. So if I kind of plot, just kind of get an idea, the torque speed of the fan and the torque speed of the motor. So let's start with, so this is our torque, this is our speed. So if we start with our fan, you see that's the plot right here. So that's kind of quadratic. So that's going up like this. So if we remember from our motor, our motor is going to have a torque speed relationship that looks like this. So you can kind of see wherever these two cross, that's going to be the speed that we're going to run at. So first of all, we have to get the torque speed of our motor. So we're going to start by drawing our equivalent circuit of our motor. So this is our 90 volts. This is our RA which is 0 0.3 ohms. We This is going to be slow enough that we don't really have to worry about our inductance. And then we have our back EMF. So this is going to be 0 0.0668 volts per radian per second. Okay, so then we need to get our uh, torque equation. So our torque is going to be equal to KTI, which is equal to 0.066I. And then we have to get our current from this circuit. So this is going to be 0.066I. Our current is going to be equal to 90 minus 0 0.0668 omega all divided by our resistance, 0 0.3. So this is our torque speed curve of our motor, and then we have our torque speed curve of our uh, fan, and then we just have to set these two equal. So we have 0 0.066 times 90 minus 0 0.0668 omega over 0 0.3 equals 7 times 10 to the minus 4 omega squared. So then we just have to solve this equation. Okay, so we just have to solve this equation. So I typed in here in Wolfram Alpha to do our nonlinear solve is equal to here. So here's our 0.06 times the 90 minus my Ke times omega divided by my resistance equals the torque of my motor. And you see I end up getting two solutions. I get a negative solution and a positive solution. We're trying to get the positive solution because we're trying to get the positive speed, not the one that would be driving the other direction. So here is my answer right here. So my omega is equal to 158. Radians per second looks right there. We also might want to be able to get it in uh, RPMs. And so then we go omega equals 158 times 60 over 2 pi. which is 115.09 revolutions per second. And there is where we're all done. Let's go ahead and write that on here.